guys welcome back to my channel my name is sekai if you are new here welcome and if you've been here before welcome back so i am a girls brigade member as most of you know if you don't know now you know so um i have invited the international the former international president of the girls brigade to come here and her name is lieutenant ruth chikasa so lieutenant ruth chikasa is the former international president of the girls brigade and she was the first african woman to hold that position she was also the african president and is the former award winner of uh, the international women's day award so she was awarded for her work in the community and also her work in the girls brigade so welcome to my channel <laughs> Thank you, Sekai. How are you? I'm awesome. How are you? I'm good. It's good to be here. Okay, thank you. You look bright and look nice. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, so, thank you for coming. So, um, a lot of people have been asking me about the Girls Brigade. So, I wanted you to tell us, like, what is the Girls Brigade? And who can be a member of the Girls Brigade? Um, the Girls Brigade, a lot of people have misconception yeah. about Girls Brigade. But Girls Brigade is an international organization. Mm -hmm one of the oldest girls' organizations in the world. And uh, it's interdenomination. Any church can have, Girls' Brigade is not a church. Yeah. It's a program that we offer to young girls. So any church can buy into the programs. It is Christian. And uh, it was started in 1893 in Dublin. Uh, and uh, this lady, it was during the war. She was a Sunday school teacher, Miss Little. Margaret Little at St. Mount Presbyterian Church. Uh, she just noticed that girls after church were just playing around. There was nothing that they were doing. And then she, she decided with her friends, let's do something that can keep the girls occupied. And that's how they started. And the rest, as they say, is history. We have Girls Brigade, which is worldwide now. And uh, it, uh, it has it spread according to the missionaries who went as they went to the Caribbean, as they went to the Pacific area, to Asia, to Africa. They took the message of Girls Brigade. So basically, Girls Brigade is an organization that seeks to empower a girl child, to grow her in faith, to help her to mature as a citizen of the world and uh, as a a person who can take up responsibility in the community. Our teaching is based on four pillar. mm -hmm. pillars. We aim to educate a girl, to make sure that a girl is developed holistically, spiritually, mentally, socially, and physically. And so those are the four lessons that we offer when girls come to Girls Brigade. Okay, that's awesome. I'm a Girls Brigade, so what she's saying is true. <laughs> and that has also helped me develop into who I am today and also given me the opportunity to teach younger girls what I've learned so far in the Girls Brigade. Also, like, what's the vision for the Girls Brigade and what does it mean to you? You know, the, the vision for the Girls Brigade is to see girls' lives transformed and in doing so, to realize God's vision for the world, to see the world in, enriched and in enriching the world there's so many aspects there's the environment how do we look after the environment as girls brigade members how, how do we teach our girls to respect uh, animal rights how do we teach our girls to respect each other how do we uh, teach our girls to love one another all aspects of john 10 10 to have an abundant life that is the vision of girls brigade actually we want to see girls' lives transformed, and transformation comes in many ways. To have them empowered, to have them uh, independent, to have them take up their position in the world. That's awesome. That's great work that you're doing. Also, um, growing up, I know you joined Girls Brigade when you were a young girl. So what are some of the memories or experiences that you remember from your life in the Girls Brigade when you were young? Uh, I joined Girls Brigade when I was five years old. Okay. It was yeah. not something that you thought about. It was what you did. Mm -hmm. uh, your parents went to church. Mm -hmm. You went to Sunday school. And in the afternoon, you went you for Girls, Girls Brigade. Brigade. Yeah. So it was something that we did in a community where I was staying. I was born in Jingola and I grew up there. Uh, 
So some of my fondest memories are camp meetings. Okay. When I was a young girl, just to go on a journey to another town and be able to meet with young other little girls, mm -hmm. you know, who are playing the same games with you. We're doing competitions of dumbbells and things. That really was something that I still uh, remember to this day, our journey to Kitwe. From Chingola to Kitwe, to Mindolo, we had a camp, and in the evening we came back. We had gone on a journey. Oh, so that cool. was something awesome for me as a young girl. But over the years, there have been so many lessons that I have learned through Girls Brigade. Mm -hmm. I've actually developed through Girls Brigade. Mm -hmm. Girls Brigade has seen me through my teen years, mm -hmm. through my young adult years, through my middle. It, I got married within you know the girls brigade mm -hmm. the girls brigade was present when i had my first child and through my my interactions with what i have developed through girls brigade both taking lessons from girls brigade into my professional life so i have learned it's been taking some things from my professional life bringing them into girls brigade taking what i learned from girls brigade into my professional life and holistically being developed. So Girls Brigade has played a very, very big role in my life. Okay, even for me, like, um, Girls Brigade has played a huge role in my life because I'm able to speak in front of people because at church, at our company meetings, I have to speak in front of people. So it has developed that. And also my daughter, who's five years old now, attended her first camp meeting last year. And she's always like, when are we going for the next camp? When are we going for the next camp? So it's so, so exciting. So now, uh, I know that you were the first African president and you've held also a lot of positions at national office and the, yeah, the first African to also be the international president. So tell us, how was your experience and how did you even rise to those ranks? You know, the thing about Girls Brigade is it gives you a platform to grow. Mm -hmm. Not only grow uh, in physical, yeah. in your physical stature, you know, it's so true what the Bible says in Luke 2.52, mm -hmm. that Jesus grew in stature mm -hmm. and in wisdom, mm -hmm. with favor with God and with man. And that's what we aim to do in Girls Brigade. I just didn't come and become an international president. I started from somewhere. I was a young girl in the Girls Brigade. I took on the lessons. When the right time came, I became an officer. I trained to be an officer. I went for my training and I took up the commission. I served at my company and I became captain. And then I became a district leader. From there, I went to serve at national office. And I served in various uh, portfolios. All these years, there were years of preparation. I was learning what it is about what God wants me to do, what it is that I should do for girls to do. So when the time came uh, that my friends thought they would they put my name forward to become the first as Africa a fellowship chairperson. Mm -hmm. uh, if you know from your Girls Brigade training and your history, is that Girls Brigade was governed differently. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a president and we had a senior vice president, and then we had uh, an international management committee chairperson. We had uh, three or so, three vice presidents. And then we had uh, an Atlantic committee chairperson and the Pacific committee chairperson. Mm -hmm. Countries, this side of the Atlantic, mm -hmm. we are governed by the Atlantic uh, committee secretary. Mm -hmm. And the other side of the Pacific, it was a Pacific uh, committee secretary. Mm -hmm. And so we as Zambia, being part of this side of the world, mm -hmm. we fell under the Atlantic committee. Mm -hmm. But in, uh, in 1993, discussion started that we needed more say in the way of governing Girls Brigade. It was more like a colonial setup, if yeah. to, for lack of a better term. Mm -hmm. And everybody wanted to have a better say on the table because we felt that somebody who's sitting in London doesn't know what's going on. In, in Africa, in Zambia, for example, they don't know what, what uh, we are going through, what are our, our problems. And we needed somebody who was attuned to those problems. So the world was divided into five parts. Mm -hmm. And the structure changed. We have a, we, now we have an international president and she has vice, five vice presidents. And each of these 
a president is responsible for a fellowship. We call them fellowships. So we have Africa Fellowship, Asia Fellowship, Caribbean and the Americas. We have Pacific and we have Europe. So those are the five. So the international president has five vice presidents. And then we have a, a, an international treasure. So in, uh, in changing the structure, of course, we needed to have elections so that we can fill these positions. And I was privileged to be part of the pioneering team. I served under Jill Clark, who was elected as, a, as an international president, and I became an international vice president in Swampo for Africa. That was a learning process for me. That was the first time that I served at international, and it was so different from serving at national. Because I'd been a, a national president, mm -hmm. and I understood these people. They are my people. People in Zambia, I know their language. I know this is me. Yeah. This is my country. But then I served at a level where I had to, to understand what Nigerians think. Like, what are the problems for Ghanaians? Mm -hmm. What about Kenyans? What about the Swazi? What about the Swana people in Botswana? What about South Africans? And all these countries that fall under Africa. It was a learning curve for me. I had to employ so many strategies, mm -hmm. and there were so many people who supported me in this portfolio. My husband being one of them, he would encourage me and say, you know, God cannot give you something to do that he does not think you've got the capability of doing. Just dig deep into your heart, ask God, and move on. And so I served as a Africa Fellowship from 1998 to 2002, thereabout. And then we elected somebody else. And because I was very busy at my workplace, I only served one term as Africa a, a Fellowship Chairperson because I needed to concentrate on my job. But in 2006, I was elected as international president. Like you rightly say, I was the first African to serve in that position after Girls' Brigade being in existence for over a hundred years. So I served from 2006 to 2010. And in 2010, I was re-elected to serve for a further four, four, year, four years. And that's being the first international president who has served two, two terms. Oh, I was the first one who, has, who had served two terms. So I served from 2010 to 2014. And now I, I am serving as of last ICGB that was held in Zambia, in Livingston. I was appointed to serve as a GB International Ambassador Petro. So that's that's part of my journey in Girls Brigade. But along this, there have been so many things that I have learned. There have been challenges that I've had to overcome. There have been celebrations that I have had to smile at. And there's so many, but I just thank God for the privilege of having served. The world stage is a big stage. Yeah. You come from a place where a leader is so exalted, and like we're talk, talking about, you think you are a small God. Mm. You go to another area in the world where it doesn't matter who you are. Yeah. You know? So you have to learn, and you have to be uh, in a position where you know what God wants you to do. That's my journey. That's a very good, um, that was a very good experience, I guess. And um, I'm sure it was also a learning curve because at least you get exposed to so many problems around the world yes. and at least you get to yes. implement them even in your country. Yes. Okay, so what are some of your favorite things to do with the girls at your company? You know, first and foremost, you are a girl. Yeah. Before you become an, af an officer, before you become a mother, before so when you go to girls' brigade, you're always a girl. Mm -hmm. I love to sing and dance with the girls, okay. but also I love to explore the Bible with them mm -hmm. because uh, some of the lessons that we give to the girls, they remember for life. Yeah. I, re I can still remember the stories about Jonah mm -hmm. from my early days. You know, 
I can still remember my captain. Mm -hmm. She's still alive. She's in, in Flira. Mm -hmm. Yes. She taught me so many things. I can still remember those lessons. I learned how to prepare fritters. Uh -huh. Banana fritters in Girls Brigade. I can still prepare. I don't think there's anybody who can prepare better fritters than I can. <laughs> okay. I learned that from Girls Brigade. I think we're going to call her again to come and do banana fritters a lesson <laughs> for us. Yeah. Okay. So thank you so much for joining, for coming to our program today, for mm -hmm. to coming to this channel. <laughs> you guys, I'm ready for TV. <laughs> so thank you so much for coming to our channel. Do you have any last words for the people out there? Any final words? You know, Girls Brigade is fun. Yeah. At every age, at whatever stage you enter Girls Brigade, it is fun. Yeah. Come and join us. Come and be part of this group of women and girls who are forever girls transforming their lives. You know, the, 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 the program of mentorship mm -hmm. is very, very good. Yeah. You get to mentor people, you get to you see girls grow from you know, as a young age, and then they become leaders in the same organization that you are in. Come and join us. Age is no barrier. Yes. <laughs> Just come. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you've learned more about the Girls Brigade. And, the, and you can research more about it as you go out there. So thank you again for joining. Remember to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Red button down here. Yeah. So remember to subscribe. Bye.